Hello there, Erner here, and today I want to show you Melipoea, very interesting faction with uh, quite special units, and this has been through the sum of the rework. So with units you will have a little bit challenge or more opp opportunities to explore. Okay, let's start with the hero. Finally, we are starting with the archer hero. He is quite okay in melee, but more importantly, he is going to use missile abilities. One of the most famous, more speed, more defense, more damage resist, always good. He is able to heal up and get some rage, rage on top of that, which he can use for more damage and range or other abilities. Uh, one thing that is already unique about this hero is that he is having poison arrows. His attacks are dealing poisonous damage. So let's review his roster. So we are starting with Malibuan Youths which are a militia with battlefield healing. Uh, this is a weak unit and that's why you will want to go into the battle, pull this back and heal up. Otherwise they would be decimated. So one thing that you are going to have with this faction and not with others, you are going to cycle through your Fodder to heal up. So this is one unit to be careful about. Next we have Spear. Young Spears. They are already solid good uh, unit, uh, very good for dueling and for some charging as well. well I recommend using this unit. As alternative or to complement this unit we got the Meliboan Boar Hunters which have slightly weaker stats and weaker weapon but uh, to compensate this they really have to use flanking attack improved as these guys are very good at flanking and in the beginning you will really want to use their one card deployment to get them into very good position and then apply flanking. Next unit in early game you will be utilizing uh, Meliboan Riders, which are two-handed X uh, chargers with piercing weapon. So uh, you have already Young Spears, which are solid. Young Spears are perfect against uh, swords and axes. But for other units, I recommend using Meliboan Boar Riders. And you will be combining these units, uh, these early game units, uh, during campaign very much. So it's good to know what's their niche difference. Spears! Then we have standard spearmen. Uh, this early game roster does not have uh, better spearmen. You are, you are tempted to use these one. These usually I don't recommend them. So if you are advanced, you will be doing very fine with chargers and flankers that I have showed you before. Sword! Next from the Watchtower building, a uh, tier 2 unit, e Light Swordsman. These are solid standard flankers. Uh, they are not so good at dwelling, that's why you have to use their flanking attack improved. Uh, another okay good unit. And in the early game, you see you got quite a lot of details or options, and I recommend mixing them up. For missiles, we are going to have javelin throwers. Uh, they are very standard javelins. In early game, I think you don't need much of the piercing missile units. Uh, but it's better than nothing. Then bowmen. Uh, these bowmen are not recommended. They don't have enough range and damage. 
and usually they are not doing well. If uh, you need something for early game, maybe I would recommend using Meliburn Hunters instead. They have more ammunition and slightly better missile output and they are much more suitable for early game skirmishing. Now, uh, imagine that you survived early game, let's move to the mid game. In mid game we got a front line of shielded axes which are lightly armored and have relatively ok stats and better field healing. Again you are going to cycle these units, heal them up, switch with other units. Uh, maybe check out the video about swap charging because this unit will be the first one that charges into enemy and you will be pulling this out to deliver big charge. About the charge, you can try using the Lion Hunters. These are uh, Vanguard Flankers. Uh, they, deal, they are okay at charging, but more importantly you should be doing very good flanking and positioning with them. Next we have uh, the Chargers or Meliboan Axe Champions. They have much stronger weapon, so on charge they will cut through enemies well better. Next, what we have next? We have the renowned Club Warriors. Since Meliboa is close to Phtaya, uh, they have access to these uh, standard Club Chargers. If you don't want to use Spears weapon, you can go with clubs and that's it. Um, I would recommend still using the Axe Champions instead. Uh, but that's it. Now, similarly as Taya, we have the Heavy Javelin Traverse. These guys are heavy, they can stop Medium Chariot and they have ok armor, but they are lacking their damage and they are usually not worth for their skirmishing or damage output. So usually I do not recommend using them. Instead uh, we got the Meliburn Bowmen, pretty good mid game archers with nice range and damage and you can position them in early very well. You can vanguard deploy them to scraps and have very good favorite favorable position in early game uh, and mid game as well. So you would be using these in mid game. Next we have chariots. This roster has access to standard Achaean chariots. They are pretty good and there should be nothing to say, usually you can bring two of them, that's plenty, it works well with your chargers and flankers and so. Ok, now let's move to the late game. In late game we have one of the unique units, Melibea Nobles. Uh, one thing you can notice right here, they have poison on their spears. They are going to deal damage over time with their attacks. Um, their stats are therefore quite weak, also their weapon is quite weak as well. But you are going to play around this poison ability. If you can buff them or protect them, enemy will be losing HP to compensate. So this is... This is very unique and only Meliboa has ac uh, access to the poison attacks. Another unit oh, yeah, we have it. here, the Companions of Medon. They are much more durable and stronger than previous versions. They have pretty strong uh, weapon for cutting and with better field healing, uh, you will be sure that they will heal up after a good duel. These guys are pretty solid. 
you may you can still use them for swap charging with following unit Meliboan Berserkers. These guys have quite strong uh, pierce weapon, decently good charge, but what makes them really berserkish? You have two abilities apart from battlefield healing. You have a last stand. You they drop 50% HP and they will have even more defense. So they will survive. You can use them for more charging or more fighting. And since they have quite high base uh, morale, uh, they are able to get under 20% of HP. And then they go fully berserk. Their attack, defense, stamina is fully reset and they are going to deal damage and yeah, they are berserkers. So you will have fun with this. <clears throat> Another unique unit and more specialized than the other archers from this roster are companions of Philoctetes. They also have poison arrows, so you are going to deal damage while they are not shooting, at least for 5 seconds. So I recommend switching targets uh, very, very often. Uh, but you be careful, you have only 150 range. Uh, to protect them, use stalk and snipe. You, you shall be hiding and using stalk. So these companions will be protected. Again, you can one card deploy them. This is quite. This is like Hydra, but but it's a useful and applicable archer unit. And lastly, we got chariots as the Achaean faction. We have standard chariots. Uh, they are pretty good, solid, good charge, and everything. So, how would be playing these units. So, you can get creative. I would recommend using the companions as your first front line. May bring a lot of them and have these berserkers in reserve so you can do some swap charging. Let's say they are fighting, they have dropped 50% HP. You pull them back, and with swap charge, you go. You let berserkers to finish off enemies. Uh, with these poison units, you can have quite a lot of fun, especially in campaigns. In multiplayer battles, you need to be very careful if and how you want to use them. Uh, they can be deadly or they can be a waste of uh, your funds, so it's really to you to consider. I would really uh, advise you to bring uh, lower tier units. Let's say we bring some vanguard uh, charger or maybe we can do fine with these guys for swap charging or so. And don't forget, I will just show you the early game. You get temporal frontline. You can swap charge with the riders. You can vanguard and flank around with your spears. Or you can confidently use young spears as alternative chargers as well. And then you still got plenty of options because this roster is versatile, but you need to be quite careful, as units are quite squishy. So, that would be it, and see you later.